you don't have to be on social media for long before you come across a spam bot. Sometimes these fake accounts randomly comment on your photos. Maybe they're trying to slide into your DMs. Perhaps they just want to follow you. When you first get the notification, they seem like normal people, but they're not. So what are these spam bots and why do they interact with us? Could interacting with these fake people have real consequences? I spoke with some social media and cybersecurity experts to find out how spam bots work, where they come from, and what you can do to try to stop them. So what exactly is a spam bot? You've probably seen them. They might look something like this. If you look at their username, you might see a long string of numbers attached. Or the accounts might be attached to spammy links, post promising free stuff, or adult content. They evolve over time, but are basically the result of computer programs designed to look like humans while executing repetitive actions. In other words, they look like real humans, but they're not. And they do the same thing over and over again. And there are a ton of them out there. Bots made up more than 40% of internet traffic in 2020. That means a lot of internet activity is coming from bots. Anyone with basic programming knowledge can make them. I mean, after all, creating a social media account only requires a couple of steps. And it's easy to strip someone else's info online or just make up details yourself. If you've seen someone you know pop up in bot form, it's because spam bots can copy a legitimate person's profile photo and name. They also access people's accounts through compromised passwords and email addresses. You might be wondering why spam bots exist in the first place. While some were designed to spread misinformation or for political agendas, a lot of times the goal is to make money. If you click on one of their spammy links, somebody might be trying to profit off of the click. There's also a long list of companies offering fake followers for cash. So should you be afraid of spam bots? What's really at stake if you engage with them? Mark Ostrowski, a cybersecurity expert at Checkpoint, says you could lose your whole account if you give them enough information. And really the worst case scenario is, is that you actually click and interact with these bots not knowingly and either give up personal information or click on a, on a phishing link or somehow surrender credentials that could be used for an attack or to gain access to your accounts. Or you could lose access to your computer if you click on a link and get a virus from them. That means anything you have saved on your computer would be up for grabs, and that includes your banking information, photos, you name it. But even if they don't defraud you, they could damage your reputation. Like I said, they might make a fake social media account using your information. Or picture this. You're on Instagram Live, but bots are spamming your feed with links to adult content. That could be embarrassing. I reached out to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to find out what they're doing to slow down these bots. Each of them didn't respond. We all know that spam bots are out there. We all know that they're a nuisance, but what I really wanted to find out was how we can stop them or at least slow them down a little bit. Experts told me there are basically four lines of defense. Number one, avoid social media which I don't know about you, but I know I'm not gonna do that because how on earth am I gonna keep in touch with my friends and family? You can try that, but I know it's not gonna work for me. Number two, make your account private. That's a little bit more realistic for a lot of us. Bots like to impersonate social media accounts that have a lot of followers and that are public. If your photos are private, it's hard for them to steal them. And being private also keeps bots from commenting on your content. Number three, don't engage. Even if you're private, they'll probably still try to DM you, but those messages are often filtered into another inbox anyway, and they're pretty easy to ignore. I treat them just like spam in my email. Delete the comments when possible, or just ignore them. Being on social media comes with inherent risks, but accidentally following the bot version of someone you know probably shouldn't be one of them. Number four, block and report them. It won't keep more from trying, but hey, it's worth a shot if you have the time. And another thing, some of the accounts that you think might be a bot might not be. Some people barely post on social media and others create accounts just to troll. If it's a Twitter profile you're wondering about, there are services like Botometer and BotSite that will try to tell you if an account is likely a bot. But frankly, you can't always be so sure. If you wanna share your experience with spam bots, leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk soon.